Um, I think what it's showing is, let's go back to what you were your digest, what you were talking about, your monologue, because unless we define the term far right, this whole conversation, this whole discussion about the rights becomes meaningless. I mean, Lee Anderson got up in the House of Commons and asked Angela Rayne a very simple question. Can you give me a definition of Islamophobia? And she gave a complete non-answer. Yet Islamophobia is going to be passed into legislation somehow. People are going to get accused of crimes, may even get sentences. And the same thing is happening with the, with the term far right. We don't know what this term means. When you have mass immigration, when you have illegal immigration, when you have a society changing as fast as it is changing now, and people have concerns about that, at what point do they start becoming far right? If the government is going to use terms like this, if the media are going to say things like far right activity has increased 327 percent, if they're going to make these claims, you have to. It is imperative. You define clearly in legislation, bit by bit, in precise detail, what does far right mean? 